think it was a couple of weeks ago we lost the entire week. I don't think we hauled a load that week because it was wet. And then this week, today's Wednesday, and we hadn't hauled Monday or Tuesday. It's real wet. That's that big hill we was coming out of. Now we're up above it up here. It's a light mist falling right now. We came on up here today to see what it was going to be like. Dad's on the 630. We got Derek back out here. He's he's got the 830 idling. Dad's on the 630 right now. I still don't know if we're going to buy it or not. Uh, I'll know more here in a day or so, but Chad's on the 635. Falling. I got mist on my viewfinder here. I'm gonna climb up here and we're gonna see. I, I doubt, well, I doubt we're gonna be able to do anything today. They're bringing us some rock now. Dad's gonna work it. Dad's gonna work it in with the grader. He's going out there on the, on, way on out on the road. There's a real bad spot out there and he's gonna go out there and work on it before they dump rock on it where he can kind of get the ruts fixed up. The problem is, is we, we had about 10 days that it didn't get above freezing. And our lows was about right around 10 degrees, which I mean, compared to the north, that's not cold and I understand that and I realize that. But when you, when you zigzag back and forth from 10 degrees to the day, it's going to be 60 today. It ruins this ground. Oh my goodness, it ruins this ground. And uh, we got a light mist of stuff. You can kind of see the haze look on it right now. Falling. And boy, it makes it tough. We got, uh, Kevin had to do a good bit of dozer work right there to where the skitters could get up to him, bring wood into him. So right now we're just piling wood. We're not, uh, we had, I hadn't loaded a truck yet. So maybe, Maybe we'll get it where I can get get a truck out of here in a little bit. Got it pretty thick. We'll spread it. Get it rained on up the hill some more here in a little bit. You can see our ground. And the thing about it is we're talking about uh, this weekend, Friday, evening us getting some snow. And then uh, Sunday morning being back down in the teens again. And I think Tuesday, being like 12 or something. We're going to get on the 630. Y'all want to go for a ride on the 630? We'll check it out. I'll get on it while Dad's on the grader. See what she'll do. Put my boots up a little bit. So it's identical to the 635. I mean, same cab, instrument panel, joysticks are the same. Everything's the same on it. Just got to turn around and see this. See, I'll unlock it right there my foot. Spin around backwards and then it locks this away. You got your throttle, brake, throttle, and brake. Right there. Let's get this thing off. Get it armed up, ready to go here. Well, this thing's a lot quieter than that 635. See, all you do let's pick the blade up see this thing's in forward right here already it ain't doing nothing until i mash the gas and then once i mash the gas it just goes and when you let off of it it just locks down <laughs> So it's in forward. That that's of course is neutral. And then right there, and you smash the gas and it goes backwards. See? Simple. I mean just it's effortless to run this crazy thing. Oh the rock, uh, we don't buy the rock. The timber company that we work for, they they buy the rock when we when we need it. They uh they get it sent in here to us. So that's uh Boy, you talking about you getting the you get your pocketbook quick all this stuff as far as it has to be hauled. Now get trees down. I go right through there. See, so just go far to 
bushes. Use your thumb. Right there to make it go. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. See, I just hold the camera on my right hand. Let's see if we can find something to grab a hold. think about it. Let's go on back here and see what's going on. Well, I'll turn, I'll turn around and run it backwards here is what I'll do. Spin her around. The same thing in this one, when you swap from front to rear like I just did, your steering swaps also. So your right left stays right left. So like, if I want to steer it to the right, I just push the stick to the right. I like that. I'm going to go on back here. I want to get a pull. I want to see. I want to make it, make it pull. Let's see. I want to hit that. I want to, let me put this camera down so I don't rip that thing up. I rip that style up. I didn't want to end up in my glass here and scratch it all the way up. Anything touches this glass will scratch that leg sand. So I'm going all the way to the back back here. I want to go back here and get a drag and pull it all the way out. Just see how the machine pulls long distance and tight feels and all that. Both GoPros are sitting at the house in the floor of my study where I charged them both. <laughs> So I don't have either one of them today. Ah, there's Derek. Derek's probably thinking, what's that idiot dude coming all the way back here? He don't know who's in the machine, see? He's thinking, man, I done cut. I done cut a quarter mile. And the dead gonna skitter. Here it comes. <laughs> Let's go back here and arrest him a little bit. <laughs> Y'all probably gonna move around some. Buttons, buttons. There we go, right button. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. This one here, you gotta get them right on the end, right here. Cause the boom on this machine is not near as long as on the 635. Got to hit half the woods here too. Just gonna seat around backwards, go forward. I mean, that's a good drag right there too. All right, let me pay attention to what I'm doing now. Going on the floors.
wide freaking open. I'm just gonna bring it right over here and drop it. Put these over here. I just let it go right there. Let me spin around backwards here. See what I have. These trees are long too. Let's go back here and we'll get another one from Derek all the way back here in the back. Look at that. I scared that 635 slap off the road. Look at him over in the bushes. Ready? That's right. Run, boy. up a hill. They just kind of spin along. I've got it locked in. So you ask about the wide tires, why they don't pull as well. Well, on the hills here, if you hit anything with the wide tires, like a limb or a stem or anything like that, the tires just will not, they won't grip. They hit it and they slide, they slip, they slide, and stuff like that. Whereas like a 30.5 or 28L, you don't see you don't see hardly any 28Ls here in our area. Most of the tire most people are running now in our area are the 35.5s on these larger machines. You see the 35.5s and the 44s. Most people that run the 44s are in the flatter ground. And hardly any 28 L's anymore. The narrower the tire, the narrow tire just bites a lot better in the, uh, in the slick soft stuff. Now, the wider tires do a lot better in sand than the narrow tires, like 35.5 for instance, because we have some places here that have a lot of sand in them, in the hills, and it's tough on us with the with the narrow tires with the 35 fives. Then when we get in those situations, but we have more ground like this right here that we're on now than what we have as far as uh, sand goes, sandy ground. There's Chad right there. We can get over here out of his way. Or he come on through there. 635. final tier four engines with all the emission stuff on it what we call def def engine def diesel exhaust fluid a lot of y'all over across the pond over there call it ad blue same thing with all the exhaust emission stuff on it it, it quiets these things down a lot see just like you hear that limb slap right there it's the same it's a 6.7 liter engine in it I think it's six points, I'm pretty sure it is. But it's an FPT, the Fiat Power Terrain, which is a, I think it's a deal between Cummins and Fiat together there, is what it is. on the 630 trying to get over that little that stump getting pushed up right there oh uh, like the machine like the machine surprising how quiet that thing is with that with that final tier four engine in it like that you can see chad coming up over there too Still ain't loading in the day though. We're trying to pile up a little bit. Been a struggle today, so I'm gonna let y'all go. I don't know how long this video is now, but uh, we'll cut her off for now. So not sure when y'all see this either. We'll catch y'all later. Later,